Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. This time out, the first all analog pedal from Source Audio. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the ZEO. ZEO is an acronym that stands for Z for impedance, I for input, and O for output. As I mentioned, it's the first all analog pedal from Source Audio, and their intention with this pedal was basically to make your guitar sound better. Let's check out how they go about doing this. The ZEO pedal combines four basic functions into one chassis. First, we have a great buffer. We've got a one mega ohm input impedance, which is ideal for guitar pickups. And we've got 150 ohm output impedance, which is ideal for feeding pedals and amplifiers. In addition, we have a built-in preamp circuit that has four different circuits, which give you four different voicings, and we'll explore those in just a little bit. The preamp circuit and its four voices can be used either to boost your signal, you have up to 20 dB of gain available, or you can use it for coloring and flavoring your guitar pickup output. We also have a tone controller, a capacitance control, and this replicates the effect of plugging into different lengths of guitar cable. It's a very interesting control that allows you to compensate for having that super clean buffer. And finally, we have a second output on the ZEO that can be used either as a line output for driving other gear, or you can use it as a tuner output. You can set the foot switch to either bypass the pedal, it is a true bypass pedal, or you can set it to switch to that mute output so you can silence your signal path either for changing instruments or for feeding a tuner. There are two ways to think of ZEO. The first is as basically a signal conditioner, meaning that it optimizes your signal for feeding the rest of your signal path. And it does pretty amazing things as far as cleaning up the output from your pickups, optimizing that sound, and and delivering a clean signal that you can then process with your pedals and your amplifier. Our second use is as more of a traditional solo boost. You step on the pedal and the gain goes up by up to 20 dB, and then you have those different voicings and flavorings from the preamp. You can also turn the output down to compensate for hot pickups and use it as what Source Audio calls an underdrive rather than an overdrive. Pretty cool. And we'll see how we can use that output to hit the input of our amplifier and change the way it responds. The Zeo pedal was designed in collaboration with Chris Venter, now he's the owner and the chief engineer, really the sole engineer at Shoe Pedals in Connecticut. He also collaborated with Source Audio on their fantastic True Spring Reverb pedal. The combination of Chris Venter and Source Audio has given us a really special pedal. Let's take a closer look at some of those features. Our signal path today is this Gibson SG Tribute guitar feeding into a Supro Keeley amplifier, which is designed to be an optimal pedal platform amp. So we'll start on our bridge pickup, and here's our tone with the pedal bypassed. We'll begin by checking out the four preamp voicings, and the first of those is JFET. Now a JFET circuit is designed to create the effect of playing through a clean tube amplifier, and in this case, we're using high quality Burr Brown op amps which are virtually noiseless, so it's a very clean input signal. Again, here's our bypass. We'll engage the pedal. So what you're hearing there is a little bit cleaner output from the guitar. It sort of gives it more articulation, a little bit more sparkle on the top end, a little bit cleaner in the lower mid-range. It's a subtle difference that adds nice quality to the guitar's output. So one more time, here's our bypass pedal. Now we'll move to the second preamp voicing, which is low cut. Bypass. You can hear that really cleans up the low end on the guitar. It takes out rumble, takes out boominess, takes out the tubbiness that you have in some pickups. Now it's audible here with the bridge pickup, but let's switch to the neck pickup. It really makes a big difference there in enhancing the articulation of the neck pickup. Our third preamp voicing is Studio, and this is actually my favorite. This setting recreates the effect of playing through a Pultec equalizer. Now, Pultec is a vintage studio equalizer that has a very interesting approach. You use it to cut the muddiness out of the signal while boosting other frequencies in the signal simultaneously. It's a unique EQ curve that works very well for enhancing the bottom end on a guitar. So here's bypassed. And here's the studio preamp. really tightens that bottom end up. Let's go to the neck pickup. Bypassed. Engaged. That really tightens up that bottom end and brings those bottom strings to life. 
Our final preamp voicing is Eplex. Now this is recreating the effect of playing through a vintage or classic 70s Echoplex. Bypassed. And engaged. Tightens up the bottom end, gives you more richness in the mid-range. And this is the kind of a preamp voicing that many players in the 70s used for driving their amps a bit harder. So in this case, we could move from that unity gain position and boost the signal a bit. It doesn't take much before we're really hitting the front end of that Keeley amp nice and hard, causing it to break up. It's also great in front of an overdrive pedal because you can push that overdrive pedal even harder, add more grit to the signal. Of course, that preamp boost function can be used with any of the voicings, but I really like it with that Echoplex circuit. Now let's go back to JFET for our first voicing, and we'll listen to the effects of the tone control. Now the tone control is emulating the effect of playing through different lengths of cable. The pickups in your guitar and the cable interact, and it tends to change the top end response, or the high frequency response. Now when we have a buffer, like the great buffer that's inside the Zio, it can compensate for that, and sometimes you can end up with the signal getting a bit too bright, and maybe even a little bit harsh. By adding this capacitance control, which they call the tone control, you can compensate for that and give you a very natural sounding guitar tone, even when you are using that buffer inside the Zio. Our first setting on the tone control is bright, and that's where we've had it through all of these demonstrations. And this is like playing through a very short, low capacitance cable, which is gonna let all the high frequencies through. Now, if we switch to the middle position, it's like plugging into a standard 30-foot guitar cable, and this is going to add a fair amount of capacitance. You can hear that it's taming those very high frequencies, those sort of frequencies that can make the guitar sound sort of sterile. It warms up the signal. We've still got plenty of top end, plenty of brightness and treble in our signal. It's just taking away those harsh elements. The third position is dark. According to Source Audio, this is designed to recreate the effect of playing through a 30-foot guitar cable along with eight pedals. So we're dropping quite a bit of the high frequencies out of there. That's really rounding out that top end and taking away those harsh top end frequencies. I was expecting this switch to be fairly subtle, but it's actually a very valuable tone shaping tool, especially if you're playing through a long chain of pedals. Maybe in one case you're going direct into your amp, so you set the uh, pedal to the dark setting, or maybe to the medium setting. But if you're playing through several pedals, and they're eating up some of your top end, you could switch to the bright setting and restore some of that top end that you're losing. So you have that flexibility for shaping your tone, both with that tone and capacitance control, as well as with the four voicings on the preamp. The final switch on the front panel is the bypass switch, and this sets how the foot switch works. When it's in bypass, when you step on the foot switch, the pedal is completely bypassed. It's taken totally out of the signal path. It's a true bypass pedal. If we set this switch to mute, when we press the pedal, we engage the effect. When we bypass the effect, the signal is routed out of that mute output, and it is muted through the main output. And again, that's useful if you're changing guitars on stage, or if you want to silently feed a tuner so you can tune up on stage. So as you can see, the ZO is a very valuable all analog front end for your pedal. You can place it at the front of your signal path to feed your pedal board and your other pedals straight into your amplifier. It'll give you a well-conditioned, great sounding signal to start at the front of your chain. But you could also place it later in the chain to compensate for other pedals. You could use it as a boost by just stepping on the foot switch and pumping the volume up. And again, you could also use it as an underdrive where when you step on the pedal, the level drops, but when you bypass the pedal, the level comes back up for solos or for louder passages. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Source Audio Zio pedal. It's an all analog pedal that's ideal for optimizing your signal before you feed your pedals in your amplifier. It also makes a great solo boost as well. It's a versatile pedal that conditions your signal and makes it sound great. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.